Ew. Today we're going to learn how to clean and chain pickerel. Got this guy yesterday. So I like to keep the 18 to 20 inches, the best size to eat, and uh, let the big ones go so they can make more big ones. First thing we're going to do is wipe down the pickerel because they are so slimy. Take a nice paper towel. Or maybe an angry paper towel, I don't know. <laughs> angry paper towel. We want to make sure our knife is very sharp. So sharpen your knife. This one's already pretty sharp, so I'm only going to hit it a couple times. And our first cut is going to be on the back, right here. It's piece one. You're going to cut down about a half quarter of an inch to a half inch and you're going to feel the tops of those Y bones and the top of the backbone you can hear it but you're not actually getting those bones in the meat you're just mm. cutting over top of them mm. and you get to the dorsal and then you come up and that's the end of the first piece so that is piece one now we're going to come to this tail section. This part, all the way back, has no bones. So you can just cut down and fillet all the way back. Just like that. Boneless. And piece number three. In here. Another boneless piece. The next part is the tricky part. So right here is the Y, the y bones. You can see them come up right here. And you can hear it if I do this. So they're right there. So you want to cut just on the outside and kind of angle your knife away from the fish. And just make a very small cut to start. Just like that. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And you shouldn't hear any, any bones. If you hear any bones, you're cutting in too far. Okay, next we're going to do, let's take it off real quick. Make a cut like this, just behind the head. I like to have the scissors to finish it off. I'm going to put it back on the board. We're going to follow this cut down to the rib cage. Looks like I got one bone in here, but we'll go around with that. Now we're good. So, the pickerel has a pretty short rib cage. So you almost cut straight down. Alright, there's one side. That's completely boneless. I'm just going to flip it over. Do the same thing on the other side. What do you think, Logan? Good. Looking good? Mm -hmm. And here's something that a lot of freshwater fish do have. Pickerel and perch, snakehead especially. So, go look for it. But I'll show you in a second here. This is a worm. If you look for them and you take them out, it's fine. Just take that out. And also make sure you cook your fish completely. You don't want to make pickerel sushi, obviously. And I just cut it off. So we're left with this giant piece of meat here. <clears throat> and then in, t in order to make it into fillets, I just cut around the, uh, you got, the anal you got fin. The, um, 
You got the worm out there. And what you can also do when you take the fillet off of the skin is hold it up to the light and then you'll see if there's any other worms in there. But all of that is boneless. Wait, no, I'll take it back out. He's trying to get back in there. But all of that is boneless. It's all off one. 19 inch pickle. That's a pretty good bit of meat. And then what I do a lot of times is there's still a little bit of meat up here between the Y bone and the backbone. So you can come in there and get that out too. It's not a lot, but it's, it's something. I just cut next to the backbone on one side and on the inside of the Y bone this time. And you get like a little, just a little strip on the top. So, two more little strippies. That's pretty much it. Now we'll just uh, fillet it off the skin just like any other fish and we'll be done. Ready for the fryer. Yeah, and don't All forget right. to wash your hands. Yeah, that too. Alright, thanks. And thanks. And thanks. How do we do?